Hello YouTube. You may remember uh, this uh, rocket stove from my last uh, video. It was supposed to be a downdraft uh, rocket stove. It is not working okay, so I'm now I'm going to make some changes and try to run it uh, in an updraft as an updraft rocket stove and see what happens. I'm going to cut this weld over here. Okay, this weld. Take out all this plate together with the, the chimney assembly. Rotate 180 degrees and uh, re-weld it and uh, let's see how it works. Hello YouTube, I'm back with uh, the changes that I said that I would make. That it was to make, tr uh, to change this uh, stove from downdraft into updraft. And uh, all I did was to cut this plate, turn it upside down, and uh, here is the chimney. Okay, it's a two meters chimney now. And uh, as you can see, okay, the stove is working. I, uh, when I lit it, uh, it went uh, right away a single piece of uh, uh, newspaper, a sheet of newspaper, some sticks and uh, the fire was on very easily and uh, not like in the downdraft version so as uh, this setup uh, for the updraft version works very well the same uh, is not uh, it is uh, just opposite what what is going on in the downdraft uh, setup now uh, if I want to keep on the insisting on working in downdraft I need to improve something I don't know exactly what okay no smoke as you can see this is burning for about uh, 10 minutes let's see a bit of uh, the combustion chamber see you can listen to the roar of uh, the draw of the rocket stove well, this is it. Okay, I uh, did manage to make this uh, stove on a, on a down, down draft as I repeat it again, but I've learned a few things like uh, secondary combustion and uh, how to make, uh, how to create a vortex inside the riser tube. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.